for. Yeah, it's not too bad. A lot of walkers. There's a shitload of the family everywhere. I think I can see the purifier. They've already hooked it up. Maya, Aiden, where are you? We found a way in, south side of the camp. Anderson, we've spotted the purifier, but I'm not sure about this. There is no other way. We need to get it back. Do it fast and stay quiet, or every walker in the city's gonna turn up. Someone's here! in The Walking Dead, The Hatchet of Rick Grimes, Michonne's Katana, Negan and Lucille. The iconic characters of The Walking Dead all carry weapons that tell you everything you need to know about their owner. In Overkill's The Walking Dead, the same is true of your four playable survivor characters. Each of them, Heather, Aiden, Maya, and Grant, have skills and gear unique to their class. Heather, the scout, is your stealth expert. Like Dwight in the comics or the TV show's resident stealthy badass, Heather carries a compound crossbow that will eliminate enemies silently. She also carries a suppressed sidearm and smoke grenades, which are perfect for concealing your team's movement under fire. Grant, a hunter, is a tanky sharpshooter who comes with a scoped and suppressed hunting rifle that will take out threats from a distance. In terms of the comics, think of him as a hybrid of Dale and Andrea, Grant's skill as a hunter also allows him to call out targets for his team, marking your enemies for extra damage. Grant's throwable object is the Molotov Cocktail, great for blanketing your enemies in satisfying flames. Maya is a former surgeon and functions as the team support class. In the books, experienced medical personnel are extremely valuable and almost never venture outside the communities, but Maya is needed on the street. Where the other characters have throwable grenades, Maya deploys med bags to her teammates to heal them quickly and keep them in the fight. Pro tip, in heavy firefights, use Heather's smoke grenade to let Maya move back and forth between downed players safely. Aiden is the classic tank in the style of Tyrese, Abraham, and even Negan with his modified baseball bat. Aiden also carries a suppressed shotgun as his default, good for dealing heaps of damage at close range. Aiden's throwable object is a homemade flashbang grenade, perfect for distractions or softening up human enemies before your team begins an all-out assault. Individually, there's a class for any player, but the character's abilities and weapons really shine when used together to beat the living and the dead. It's also worth mentioning that each of your playable characters will start with a signature weapon and loadout, but you don't have to stick with it if you don't want to. In Overkill's The Walking Dead, you have access to over 50 weapons, from small handheld knives to high-powered sniper rifles and compound crossbows. Every weapon you buy or find in this world has strengths and weaknesses, and they will all break down over time. In the world of The Walking Dead, a gun will put you in danger as many times as it will save your life. 
the best survivors are well versed in melee combat and can wield a variety of deadly handheld weapons. The swift and deadly can wield an arsenal of knives, from scapels to surgical saws to bayonets. Remember, a melee weapon never runs out of ammunition, so pick a favorite and get to swinging. Melee weapons are great to use against walkers, but a good gun will keep you alive against the scavengers and bandits of the world who want your stuff. Once you're in the game, you can customize a variety of weapons. You can equip them with a range of attachments, from scopes to suppressors and compensators. If you do use a gun, make sure to find and attach a matching suppressor. Know your surroundings if you fire a gun without a suppressor. Walkers will be drawn to the sound and you can find yourself boxed in if you're not careful. Keep an eye on your weapons and maintain them too, or you may find your gun jamming at the worst possible moment. The streets of post-apocalyptic Washington DC are dangerous and unforgiving. Once you head out into the wild, you will become a target for both the walkers and the humans still in the city who will do anything to stay alive. Don't be afraid to experiment. Find a class and weapon that fits your particular playstyle and work as a team with your fellow players. If you can do that, you may just have a shot at surviving the apocalypse of Overkill's The Walking Dead.